In this video, we're going to be taking a look at a glass magnetic whiteboard from Audiovisual Direct. All right, so this is a whiteboard from Audiovisual Direct uh, on Amazon. Uh, we chose to go with this brand because, quite frankly, this is the second one that we purchased. Um, and we, we really like it a lot for a couple of reasons. One, it's a really high quality whiteboard. So if you're looking for a whiteboard in your home to keep track of like to-do lists or to do brainstorming or whatever, or even in your, in your office space, this is a really good option. Uh, the nice thing about a glass whiteboard is you don't risk having uh, it stain from dry erase markers if you leave it up too long. You can always just take some Windex and erase the uh, old markings from this glass if it happens to dry. So uh, glass whiteboards for us is the way to go. The other thing we like about Audiovisual Direct is the quality of the uh, hardware that's included for mounting. Uh, as you can see here, it includes these pretty low profile posts uh, that you use to mount the, the glass whiteboards on the wall. And uh, it just gives it a really nice uh, finished look to the end product. All right, so in this video, we're gonna take a look and see what's included in the box when they ship it to you. We're also going to do an installation and show you what's involved in that. If you would like to purchase one of these whiteboards to use in your home or in your office, then we're going to include a link in the description below that will take you to a website that has the best price. Okay, so the first thing we're pulling out is this okay. template you can use to mark the holes on the board. And then you can put it up on the wall uh, so you know where the holes go when you mark the drill locations. So don't throw this away. And this is a metal backed whiteboard, so it's magnetic. And that's what it looks like. Since this one is the magnetic version, it only has four mounting holes instead of six. The one that comes with uh, without the metal behind it has six mounting holes, so just keep that in mind. Um, so since this one only has four, it's going to be a little bit easier to mark the locations and drill and, and hang up. So how to install the board. Should be easy enough. Okay, so it shows here we've got three foam strips, which looks like we put it behind the glass. We hear it behind the glass before we hang it up on the wall. It's probably to give it a little bit more, make sure it's a little bit more stable when you're riding in the middle of it. So it also comes with this hardware insulation pack. So it includes the mounting bolts, the drywall anchors, the screws, obviously. And then it looks like it includes also some magnets for the magnetic whiteboard, which is a nice bonus. I did not know this was included in the whiteboard uh, itself. If you're planning on moving anytime soon, it's probably a good idea to go ahead and save the box and all the packing materials well. That'll make sure your board is protected uh, during the move, so it has less likelihood of being damaged or broken. Okay, and last but not least, we found this marker tray that's included. It's just clips on the bottom of your whiteboard with pressure, and uh, it's a nice additional feature. First we put the template down, and then we put the whiteboard on top of the template. And we need to make sure the template is level to the whiteboard. So make sure that the gap of where the whiteboard, there isn't a gap around the whiteboard, because we're gonna make have to make sure that the template is level to make sure that the whiteboard itself is level when it's on the wall. So Take your time on this part, make sure it's lined up where it's supposed to be. Okay, so once that's in place, then what you need to do is mark each of the holes. Mark in the very center of the hole. You want to make sure you get it in the center of each hole because the mounting brackets will feed through the glass and obviously glass isn't flexible so it won't be able to take too much of a variation between the holes. The holes will let the bolts pass through and it has some some play, but again, you make sure it's as accurate as it can be. Okay, so once that's marked, you take the glass back up. Move it out of the way. And then 
take your template with the holes that you marked and then hang it where you want it to be. And again, take your time on this part, make sure it's right where you want it. Make sure it's spaced where we want it to be. And you want to make sure it's level. Now the other thing you can do, you can follow the instructions in the in that comes with the whiteboard. And what they recommend that you do is to tape the template up to the wall. And do you want me to do that? Whatever, okay. uh, so what we're going to do instead is, since we're not sure where the studs are in the wall, what I always like to do is I, use, I always take a, a monkey hook, or this is called a fast hook, or I'm not sure what name it might be called. Uh, I think the brand we bought was monkey hook. And I'm going to puncture the wall and the template to see if there's a stud. Alright, so at least I'm going to mark where the template holes are. So I'm puncturing the template itself and marking basically the drywall behind it. So there's two. Make sure it's flat. Three, four. Okay, so now the holes are marked so we can pull this down. The instructions they suggest taping it up and then drilling through the template but again if you're wanting to preserve the installation materials and the packing materials um, it's always a good idea to like on the template itself not tear it up so okay so we're also going to use the stud finder to see if there's a stud back here just to confirm it says it's so close to the edge there probably is and look at that it's a stud here at least we might be right on the edge of a stud here so we're probably going to want to go ahead and install anchors at these points too. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and drill the holes for the wall anchors in all four of these holes. So now we need to install our wall anchors. So then, since the wall anchors are in now, we'll take one of the mounts and one of the screws, and this just feeds inside here, and we'll screw this into the wall mount, and then we'll do that for the remaining three. So now that the mounts are in, we're going to put these foam strips on the back of the whiteboard and this will give it some more stability, especially as you push in the middle and when you're writing, it won't bend and bow and ultimately crack the glass. Now, if you have one of these whiteboards that is not magnetic, but doesn't have the metal backing to it, then instead of having these strips, you'll have additional mounting holes and that gives it the stability it needs, um, but still lets it be transparent so you can have that nice look that you're going for in your house. Okay, so once you get the mounting hardware in place, you've got the strips on the back, if you've got the magnetic version, um, and you've got, make sure you have these transparent washers um, also on the studs, um, then you're ready to mount this. Now I recommend using a partner to help you install this on the wall so that way you don't drop it and uh, we're going to do that right now. Put the additional washer on the outside before you screw on the nut. Yeah, 
And last but not least, we're gonna put this marker tray on the bottom here. Is that centered? And so here's an example of a non-magnetic whiteboard. This is the same size that we mounted in the other room. Um, the difference here is this also has the additional two mount points in the middle that I talked about. And uh, you can see it's, it's transparent here. You can see my hand behind it. So it kind of blends in a little bit more with the decor in your home. Uh, the other thing to know here is we also chose to mount it the other way. So if you don't have enough space to mount it um, horizontally, you can also choose to mount it vertically like we did here. And this works out really well. This is right by our kitchen. We have our calendar that we can use to keep track of events. We've got our to-do list or our grocery list, and it just helps us keep organized as a family. Okay, so that's all there is to uh, installing this whiteboard. Again, we really like the uh, quality from the whiteboards that Audiovisual Direct produces. Uh, there are also other options if you look to purchase one from another reseller or from another brand, another company. Um, I believe Quartet is another one that's a very popular company, but um, we didn't go with them because the, the knobs themselves were a lot bigger around and just visually it looked a little bit too modern for our house. Okay, again, if you'd like to purchase this whiteboard, uh, the link is in the description below. And we also have included a list of all the tools that we use for installation as well. So if you're curious about anything that you saw us use in the video, uh, there's gonna be a link to that below as well. Hope you enjoyed this video, hope you found it helpful. Uh, and please remember to join us again on the next Top Homeowner video, where our goal is to help make you the top homeowner in your neighborhood. Thanks for watching.